Hey there, Eli coming at you again from OSA Coventry here today to show off one of the funnest members of the cleanup crew for a saltwater aquarium. These guys are a reef safe animal, something that is really interesting and really does serve a good role in most of your saltwater reef aquariums. And that is this beautiful little sea cucumber here. This guy is called a pink and black sea cucumber. Some people call him a burnt hot dog for obvious reasons. But this is a cool little creature right here. They are actually related to starfish and urchins as a member of the echinoderm. Those are their closest relatives. But the sea cucumbers serve a really pivotal role in the wild at sifting through substrate and eating some of the organic waste and some of the microfauna that would exist in the substrate. So in the aquarium setting, adding sea cucumbers is a very good way to make sure that your sand bed is always looking clean and fresh. These animals sift through the sand and they will basically ingest a large amount and then once they have digested everything that was within those sand particles expel it back into the substrate as little pellets but they usually do a really good job of cleaning that substrate so oftentimes you will find small piles of excrement from these sea cucumbers in the tank but this excrement really is just about as pure of sand as you can run across and they usually do just turn into quite clean white sand in just a couple days time. So sea cucumbers are a really interesting way to add some life to your tank, a useful animal for keeping that sand bed clean and clear, and they help to make sure that you're not getting big deposits of waste under your rocks or in and around your substrate. There are a handful of different types of sea cucumbers that you run across in the hobby. This pink and black sea cucumber is something that you run across fairly often. Tiger tail sea cucumbers are something I see a little more often than these. There are a few other handful of species that you might run across, some of which are even mildly photosynthetic, and they don't all do the same job in all honesty. Tiger tails tend to be one of the best ones to add to your reef tank but they are something that sometimes splits. So if you do add a tiger tail sea cuke to your tank, oftentimes you will have a few more down the road if you play your cards right. Another thing worth mentioning with the sea cucumbers is they're not worth putting with anything that's a little too aggressive. Sometimes larger fish like puffers, triggers might try to snack on these. And in all honesty, oftentimes your sea cucumbers are mildly toxic or sometimes quite toxic. And if they are threatened in such a manner, or if they are killed in such a manner, they will release toxins into the tank. So it's very worth being very careful adding these to your aquarium just to make sure that you don't run that risk. I have heard stories of these animals being eaten or running through powerheads in the aquarium. And if something like that does happen, if they do die a sudden dramatic death, they will often release that toxin and it can be quite harmful to the rest of the tank. If you do have a sea cucumber and you suspect that something like that did occur, it's very well worth running a very large water change and adding a bunch of carbon to your filtration just to make sure that you're not running the risk of having those sort of issues if you do notice one go missing or you see one that's got some damage to it. Generally, that's not so much of an issue with those tiger tail cucumbers that I just mentioned, but I have heard of horror stories with this pink and black sea cucumber, so it's always worth note. If you do have larger powerheads in your tank, maybe adding a anemone guard or something of that effect to make sure that they can't fit into the powerhead. Be carefully picking your stock list so you don't have animals that are going to try to snack on this guy is an important way to make sure that that does not happen. Overall though, that is a very minimal risk, just something that's worth mentioning. And it's always worth being careful choosing your stocking list, taking into account all the other animals in your tank before you do add something of this. It's also worth mentioning sea cucumbers are usually not very hardy in brand new aquariums or very new aquariums. Generally, this is something you want to add to a tank that's well established. I'd say once you hit that year mark, once your substrate starts to look a little bit old, you have some pockets of detritus building up, that would be the most appropriate time to add one of these organisms or any other sand sifting organism for that effect, whether it be a diamond goby or another sand sifting goby or even sand sifting starfish. Generally, just making sure that you have a very well-seated aquarium and a well-aged substrate is most important before you add a substrate sifting animal to the aquarium. Also worth note, they are something that can be done in a bare bottom aquarium, but more times than not, it is most appropriate to make sure that you have a healthy, hefty sand bed for these animals, just to make sure that they're getting enough grazing space, enough surface area to graze a pod, and to make sure that they are getting those appropriate diets that they need to survive. 
All in all though, Sea Cucumber is a really interesting, weird, wacky critter to add as part of your cleanup crew for your saltwater reef aquarium. Definitely a really fun animal to see, something that is quite rewarding to keep and does a really pivotal role at keeping your sand bed clean and clear. As always, feel free to leave me questions, comments, suggestions in the comment section below. And as always, keep on reefing.